fucking um, tired as well after that. Ex- that pitiful excuse of a raid. Fucking raid. It was pretty disgraceful. When you resort people to heroic trash farming for an hour and a half during your raid, not like outside of raid hours, and and for no other purpose than for the sake of doing it, you know you done fucked up. To be fair, we got a decent amount of loot for it. Yeah, but like, no loot justifies what we had to do. We effectively did like vanilla style of questing to get loot there. Yeah. Anyway, what the fuck have I got to do? Oh, I've got the worgen thing. Find the worgen. 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 Don't you put on some like goggles? Oh yeah. Do you? Yeah. I don't have the goggles. I don't think. Maybe not. Them. How do you do it? It's been so long since I leveled a character because I'm notorious for not doing it. Oh yeah, by the way, I should say, um, for people who are watching this, I was leveling a monk before, but I want to play mage because there ain't no DPS like a mage DPS. You know it. Um, how the fuck do I even get these wagon? Isn't don't you get like a dog or some shit to help you out, or do you just walk around? Oh, is there like a quest item on? Um. I want you to be on the lookout. We know that these walking can hide. Oh, right, yeah, you just follow the fucking dust, that's it. And then it just takes you in. Oh, shit. I've got to get used to my bindings, because I, I keep thinking that I've got um, Frost Nova, or whatever it is, bound to, like, the F key. But I've got Blink bound to it, so I'm just, like, blinking away from the people I'm trying to attack. It's not, it awkward. It's not a good style of play. Also, seriously, like... If if there's this many Worgen in Brill, it's kind of dangerous. And also, like, why the fuck did they come here? Not very clever, not very intelligent. Are you? Have you got professions? Or are you not bothering with the professions? Uh, I don't know. Not yet. Depends if I'm gonna be asked. I'm not sure. Yeah, I like how uh, me, you, and Durumbar are all going for the um, the undead style of play. So he's got well. Yeah, he's got the the warlock. Seriously though, we've got like the the way it's supposed to be the undead combination of warlock, mage, and rogue. That is like the un undead combination. It's true. If you're gonna play an undead, it's one of those three classes. Like there was a time where if you were a, like um, if you were playing horde and you were gonna play like a rogue or a mage, just had to be undead. Yeah, you've got your trolls, and I'm not hating on trolls. I like a troll. I like a troll now and then, but you know. If you see him, if you see an undead mage, you know, it's just a, it's just a sight to behold. A sight to behold it is. Shuffling along with a weird hood on. It's just badass. Right here we are. So you out? You're out of death now, now aren't you? You're at the Calston Farmstead. Hi. You doing those like really annoying quests where it's like um, kill. Destroy ten pumpkins, because you know that's important. Yeah, you can fucking walk for three years first. Relic of vanilla. The thing yeah. is, I think it's worse than vanilla, because back in vanilla, the, the the time that it took to like destroy a pumpkin, like the cast bar of it, was like three seconds. And each each guy could murder you. And just... Not good. Although, to be fair, I prefer vanilla um, undead so much. It was just so much better. Are you there? Oh fucking hell, I think we're... Yeah, two seconds. Yeah, right, okay. Jesus Christ. Is that, that done? Right to the... In Dark Hound Blood, okay. Okay, okay. Blinking all over the place. Also, that undead blink. That undead that's blink. That's right now. Flatmate just rubbing in how his guild is, like, much better. Yeah, they've just got the heroic Margot kill. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> <sighs> oh, fuck's sake. You said they've been doing it all night, but still. Yeah, I know, but like... They're missing an entire raid ahead of us. And a bit. It's not good. It's fucking not good. It, plus, like, for people watching this, I must like a, look like a real, like, a shell of a raider right now. I've got... <laughs> I've got, <laughs> I've got like, my, uh, my fur robe on. I just look like I'm just suffering through it. I've got, like, a can of monster in one hand. 
not good times. No, like, also, being a GM's great if you if it's going well, do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, when it's going well, it's great being a GM, but when you're putting in a lot of effort and the people in your guild aren't, or at least half of the people aren't, then it's just like, nah. No, because... I could, like, be in a guild where I was raiding and I wasn't, like, putting in the effort of doing all the recruitment and shit and spend that time doing stuff to improve my class and and I have to spend it doing this shit. I'm a bitter man, ladies and gentlemen. A bitter, bitter man. Just killing the innocent creatures of Tyrus Fallglades with these Frostfire Bolts. I've got to say, I love a Frostfire Bolt. Do you love a frost fireball? That 15 DPS. You can't knock it. Something oddly peaceful, isn't there, Paul? In in leveling, simple. In the beginning, yeah. It just gets to a massive grind when you get past about 50. I think. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I start getting depressed. I don't know. I don't know. Because some uh, of the unless I'm into it, some, into it, it's nice. Yeah, but. some of the zones at fifty are fucking are, are fucking awesome. Like nice updated blasted lands, nice. You know the blasted lands in vanilla like had nothing, like not a single quest, not a single quest was there. It was literally just there for um, Doom Lord Kazakh and the Dark Portal for like the RP value. That was literally it. They left left it barren as like a testament to how like much it had been destroyed by the the demons and shit. That makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Although at the same time, it's like a waste. It's like a huge waste of a zone that looked really cool. But um, I, but that being said, though, like I do, I I can I'm one of those like nostalgia bastards who like really enjoys the old zones. Like a lot of the old zones, I really like. Um, like old Tyrus I really really like. But um, new Blasted Lands is absolutely fantastic. It's fantastic. Like, you know, with a quest where you go up on the mountain to fight the demon with that demon hunter guy, and just, he's got his swords and stuff. Nah, no, it's been a fucking age since I've been there. It's great. It's so good that me, a person who absolutely adores Outland, like, I leveled to 61 just so I could finish the storyline the first time before going to Outland, which seems ridiculous because, the, like, the XP, like, boost that you get at 58 when you go to Outland for the first time is ridiculous. Oh, one shotting, one shot. What's this touch of the grave malarkey? Is that like a new racial? If it is, I haven't played Forsaken for a long while. Touch of the grave. Your attacks and damaging spells have a chance to drain the target. Nice, nice. Not got a problem with that. I don't know how that pans out late game, but I have no problems with that right now. Just being at a one shot people with a drain. Yes, <laughs> fifty two damage each time. That's like. Fucking ridiculous. Better than the shitty Night Elf one. Can hell crit one time, haste another time. Yeah, Flatmate was just in again, he said the uh, combat rogue in his guild the 31k on the Rook Morgok way. Yeah. That's fucking insane. It is insane. I wonder why though, because it doesn't seem like a combat rogue could fight really. Uh, apparently the last phase is just like is it massive cause AOE. Yeah, there are a lot of ads, that's true. The joys of being a combat rogue. Yeah. Thing that I like about playing um, a mage, though, that I really hate about a rogue is that some people love all three rogue specs, but I don't. I can't stand some of them. Like I can't stand assassinational subtlety. Like I have rogues and just nah. And that's not dissing any of you assassination rogues, are you subtlety rogues? But subtlety for me, too easy, too boring, and assassination just isn't making the cut right now. But, um, combat's always fun. Whereas with mage, some people hate on the mage specs, but I love it. I think that there's three really strong, really unique specs, and I really like it. You can, like, decide based on, like, because they're both, they're all fairly strong. You can decide just, like, what you want to play. Do you want to be, like, a frosty bastard? and be competent in AoE and single target? Or do you want to go fire and just be an all-round badass of the AoE? Or do you want to go arcane and just blow shit up? 
It's up to you. I don't know what I'm going to go. What do you think I should go, by the way, Paul? Uh, well, I don't know. You were thinking about fire, weren't you? I was thinking about fire just for the RP value, because, I mean, like, there's nothing that people like more than the good old fire mage. It's mm -hmm. just it's just like when you see a fire mage join your group, it's like if this guy doesn't top the meters, then he must be a fucking imbecile. I'm not sure about that, like, well, sure fire's the softest of the... Uh, no, it's specs, not, dude. No, it's it not. It's not. Out of, the, out of the three specs, fire does the least it's, DPS. It's not, dude. If you look at what best in slot, like, it, fire currently has the highest... Um, DPS out of any DPS spec in the game right now at best in slot gear. That's that's just a fact by quite a considerable margin as well. It's great on AoE. It's not as strong as the other specs earlier on in with single target, but when you get to like um, when you get to like the end of the uh, of the like when you get to like six six uh, six sixty I level plus, oh. it just stomps stomps. If you want to go like safe play, then Frost's the best bet because it's good at both. Um, What's it called? Both AOE and single target. Whereas fire is much better at uh, AOE currently. But I don't know. I might just go arcane because then I can just on the bosses it'll be insane. Yeah. To be yeah. fair, I leveled my mage through arcane. It's actually quite fun. Yeah. Plus, it's like I think arcane's like an under, under arcane's a bit of an underplayed spec, isn't it as well? Yeah. I think it's because it's got such a bad reputation. It's got a bad reputation. Fun. You're right. It has got a bad reputation. But to be honest with you, like I think it's the sort of spec that, and this is gonna make me sound like a total asshole, but I'd like to play it just because not many people play it. Like, you see a shitload of frost mages. Oh, that's all you see. Frost yeah. is fucking everywhere. You don't see a lot of fire mages. I've got to say that. Purely because you've got to have, like, the the good gear to do well as fire. It's, it's always been that way. Like, if you've got really good gear, then it's not an issue because you can deal with the mana costs and you can make it work. But fuck frost. I really like frost as a concept. But fuck frost. Apologies to all the frost mages, which is pretty much everyone. Plus, if I'm an arcane mage, I can feel better about having my wizard hat that I'm going to have for transmog, because... Wizard hat. Heroic, Nax Ramus, 25 man gear. Purple wizard hat. That's the way. You know me. I've already st I've already planned out a full transmog. Yeah, it's a little bit sad. By, like, before I even killed my first mob, I'd already planned out the full transmog. You've got to look nice for the ladies. For the ladies. <laughs> yeah, you're right. When you're a DPS, the la the ladies are watching. As a tank or a healer, you're you're the bro. But as a DPS, it, it's a dog eat dog world. I say that, but I'll just be making food for people. Just oh, just yeah. be conjuring shit up all the time. That'd be it. Work your way into a decent guild by just being the guy who actually works in the fucking cooking profession. You know it. <laughs> To be fair, I think a partial reason why I decided to play Mage is that basically a little bit of backstory, me and Glenn like have characters which are like well beyond six fifty eye level, but mine is a tank and his is a healer, and it's difficult to get in high end guilds with the tank or healer, purely because usually the the tanks and healers of such guilds are solid players who've been in the guild for like years, you know what I mean? But um Partially the reason why I chose mages because I know that I can just there's loads of guilds want mages, and also like I think that mages are one of those classes where eye level is a bit lenient if you know what I mean because they just do so much damage. Aye. And it's a lovely class because it's like a turret gun class. Like if you can get it up and running, if you can get into a safe zone, it's why I hate it on something like Tectus. If you can get into a safe zone and start doing DPS, whoa shit the bed you'll do a lot of DPS. Right. Give your meat a good old rub. Have you seen that, by the way, Glenn? That Ainsley Harriet thing? No. Nah. Oh, dude, you're missing out. Dude, give, you sound a bit dodgy, to be honest. give your meat a good old rub. Yeah, nice and hot. Hot and spicy meat. Yeah, boy. That's, oh. not gonna, that's gonna make no sense to a lot of people, but just type in Ainsley Harriet, give your meat a good old rub. Don't just judge him as stupid. <laughs> From one monster fan to another, I re you said that in the raids, and like one of the guys just thought that you were into some weird Japanese shit, didn't he? He said, "I'm a monster fan." Yeah, no yeah. monster fetish, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he th he, that's what he thought, yeah. and surely is a raid. Well, I hope so. Okay, here we go. Speak quickly. 
I haven't got all day. Obtain six dusk bat pelts. Oh shit, hang on. War Larson's calling me. Oh god. Oh, I'm in the fucking shit now. Yeah. Such professionalism. But this is Warcraft leveling. It's relaxing. It's a relaxed experience. A bonding exercise between friends and f and between those people who watch me. This is the sort of bullshit that I do in my spare time. I wrap a fur cloak around myself and when I could be studying university work, instead I level characters that I will probably never see reach level 90 or 100. Probably not level 90 to be honest, but we'll see. Maybe with your help, with the help of the few views this video will get, you can push me to get this character to level 100. I love the way that the undead hold the staff, it's just so fucking ridiculous. Look at it, hang on a minute. What the fuck? He's not even two-handing it, he's just going... Ninja style of play. Loving it. Loving it. I should say this right now, um, if anybody wants to like come along for this leveling, I'll just like pop in. Or do a dungeon or whatever. I don't really... I don't really give a shit, just... Like, um... You can see my character's name is Vortigern. It's hard to spell, but there you go. Have a look. Just fucking whisper me. Or whatever. Um, and it'll be cool. I've not got any issues with that. Just prepare to be stomped with that 16 DPS. Ready for raiding. Hashtag RFR. We got full turn-ins, but they're all over the shot. Okay, here we go. Blinking. I love the way they blink as well. It's like... Loving it. I've got my wizard cloak on as well. I can't wait to get transmog. I'll have to video some transmog runs too. Mm. Boom. What do you require? To be fair, this lass has been asking for dust pelts for 10 years. I thought she was dying. It's all bullshit. Three armor. Three armor. Better than the patchwork shoes. I ain't wearing patchwork shoes. I'm a wizard, I want the nice silk shoes for the RP value. Right, we're going to return. Return to the Magistrate. One of these days I'm actually going to read these quests, because it's probably important. Although, to be fair, one thing I think they should have updated was the stuff with the Scarlet Crusade. Like, have maybe a phasing thing go on, so that we could actually finally fuck up the Scarlet Crusade. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the Scarlet Crusade. It's one of my favourite things about the game. Like, I love the idea of this, like, fallen brotherhood. It's kind of a like Knights Templar who've turned to some really dirty, dark dealings in order to survive. I love that shit. And, like, where there was the Archbishop Bene like, not Benedictus, the other guy, Fowl, or whatever his name is, um, who gave you the Ashburn quest. It's, like, hidden away in a little chapel. Love it. Fantastic. But, by now, after ten years of the Forsaken, surely we fucked them up. Surely we fucked them up. Forsaken for life. I'm loving it. Always forsaken player. Undead, I should say. I know it's forsaken, but I just prefer undead because, let's be honest, if you could choose between playing for, as a forsaken or playing as part of the scourge, we all know what we'd take. That DK starting zone. Fantastic stuff. Playing as the bad guys. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. We're going up to the guy with his little leper gnome. Gnome. Now. I think the Leper Gnome should be a faction. Love it. It'd be fantastic if the Leper... I know that the Goblins of AC are equivalent of Leper Gnomes, but it'd be so cool if... I know there's a few Leper Gnomes in the Undersea, but I'd just love it if there was like a little Leper Gnome thing. Or like you could get a Leper Gnome uh, sidekick or something. It'd be great. Yeah, I even love the leap, like the crouching swan. Looking at that, like, that's fantastic, that with, like, the lightning going on, like, the zeppelin. The reason why I love levelling in the Tyrus Fall Glades is just because it's such, like, an iconic zone. Like, um, in some ways, it's it's kind of untouched, but also, as a big WoW fan of, like, the lore and stuff, the lore of Tyrus Fall and of the Scourge is a very unique thing. It's not really in a lot of other games or books or whatever. This This idea that they came up with is really really fantastic. And whilst you can say that Arthur's is quite a Darth Vader-like character, he really is like a Darth Vader-style character, the whole thing with the Scourge is just 
so awesome, and the way it ties into the greater law. I love the original Tiris Fall because you really did feel like you were a band of ref, like a band, a ragtag band of eff effectively refugees living in the blasted ruins of your former home. And whilst I love the Forsaken as like this powerful faction now, I, I don't like the idea of you being like one of like a huge um, population of soldiers. It's kind of a bit. Um, I preferred being like one of it, an elite band, like that's how I felt in vanilla, like if you play. I mean, obviously I'm taking quite like in depth and it, it's just, you know, I think about these things because when you've been playing the game this long, even if you're not interested in law and stuff, you, you can't help but take like an avid interest in the backstory. Speaking of which, I wonder, I wonder what you guys think, but Sylvanas, gonna play a role in this expansion? Didn't play much of a role in the last expansion, which was surprising, because in Kaya it looked as if Sylvanas was gonna be the big badass that we were gonna have to fight. And to be honest with you, you might still have to do that. I would be surprised if there isn't an expansion which is gonna involve Bolvar in some capacity and Sylvanas. And um was it Valeria? Windrunner? Can't remember her first name. What uh Sylvanas' sister. Because in the book War Crimes, which is the book that preceded uh, Wad, the book that was kind of released as a, a kind of a precursor to Wad, um, there's a bit where Sylvanas is starting to open up a bit more because she meets her sister for the first time in years, and um, they talk about the death of Ronin and stuff like that, and it looks as if Sylvanas is going to start to come over, and then something happens, I can't remember what it is, but something happens that just fucks her off completely and she just goes into like being the bitch queen again and i genuinely reckon that sylvanas is going to end up being some kind of bad guy which is cool because we've kind of lacked a lot of um female i want to say antagonists in wow it's been mostly like really really masculine characters like Illidan, arthas deathwing kill jaden grom you know the female characters have always been like the voices of reason and stuff, or like the, the good guys. Like even Sylvanas, up until recently, was like this good guy, you know, similar to Jaina, taken out by Arthas being a fucking asshole and kind of remade and stuff like that. But um, I don't think they dropped the liquor. The liquor embalming, oh, liquor embalming icker, I should say. But uh, yeah, it'll be really interesting to see what goes on with Sylvanas. The reason why I say this expansion is purely because of what is in War Crimes. It just makes it seem that possibly something could happen with her. But who knows? Maybe nothing. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass. She's probably most likely. Yeah. You get into a sort of state when you're leveling where you just like... Switch off and I kind of need to just... Whew, take a breath. Because you can just get like tunnel visioned into leveling, just sit here for ages. Plus, I'm like I've drunk two mon cans of monster in like an hour. And monster, Jesus Christ, monster is the nectar of the gods. But like how it is the nectar of the gods, mortals are not meant to touch that stuff in too la large a quantity. Because seriously, that fucks with you. That fucks with your innards, the tubes. That's ten out of ten. Embalming icker needs to be done. What are we doing? Level 9 already, awesome. I didn't think I was level 9. Nice! Just gonna take a pause to get some bolts of cloth made, because we are going tailoring. You're still trying to hear yourself. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to link I'm gonna have to link you this video because I just got jump scared to fuck. Like and it's got like my my camera is on in the bottom corner of the video and I literally just did like a sort of fucking monster mash style dance there. Jesus Christ. And I'm not chatting away to myself, I am having a discussion with the viewer of tomorrow. Hi, <laughs> right. <laughs> now I was just saying, like, um... What, was that Amy, by the way? Hi. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everything good, yeah? Mm-hmm. Good shit. I was gonna say, I was just, um, talking about how... Like, there needs to be something happening with Sylvana soon, like... After after Cataclysm, you know, where she was basically becoming like the total bitch queen, like summoning the dead and getting like this huge army and just taking lands for no fucking reason. 
something needs to go down. And also, like, you know, the, you know how like they release books. I know that you're probably yeah, yeah. you're not like. No, I think I've read the really uh, the Wrath one. I think. Uh, Rise of the Lich King. I, I've got that to read. I'm like yeah, halfway through that. Um, they released a book before Ward called um, War Crimes, and it's basically about Garrosh's trial. By the way, for the record, that thing with the fucking um, Garrosh's trial, such bullshit. You know, oh, let us try him in Pandaria. Fucking bullshit. Should have just slain the motherfucker there and then. And it kind of proves that the Pandaran ideology is bollocks, because if they just kill Garrosh there and then, none of this shit would have happened. None of it would have happened. Yeah, we wouldn't have gotten like a really, really good expansion in the form of Ward, but we wouldn't have lost all these folks. It just would have happened if we'd just done what Varian wanted to do and just sliced Garrosh's fucking head off. Should have just done that shit. But anyway, uh, in War Crimes, there's a bit where Sylvanas meets her sister, mm. who uh, is, if you remember, like, is that you? No, it's not. Oh. No, it's not. It's a monk. Um. She meets a sister who who's was the wife of Ronin, you know Ronin, like the Kirintor guy. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, the mage dude from Ulduar. Yeah. yeah, and you know how he got killed in like the Theramore scenario. Mm. Um, well, she talks to Sylvanas about how she wants Garrosh to die because of how he killed Ronin, and like Sylvanas starts to open up, and you think, oh, hang on, Sylvanas is actually going to maybe turn to the good side again, and then something happens, and I can't remember what it is, someone will remind me, and Sylvanas just goes into full-on bitch mode, and like, curls up even more. I think I think what it is, is that she, um, she arranges to meet her sister in secret again, because obviously her sister's like part of the Alliance, and so like, it wouldn't do for them to meet openly, mm. um, and something happens, either her sister just doesn't turn up, or... Her sister asks her to kill Garrosh, and but says they were going to do it together, but has a last minute change of heart, and that causes Sylvanas to feel betrayed or something. And she just curls up even more and see, feels like she's got literally no one in the world that can relate to her if her sister will do that. So, Fantastic. It's just, it just sounds like to me like something could go on. Oh shit, we've hit the level 10. We've hit that level 10. Oh, I'm so tempted just to go with Arcane, just seeing that fucking Arcane Blast. Arcane Charge, what is this? An Arcane Charge generated by Arcane Blast, Arcane Missiles. Arcane Charge, what is this? It's like your Q, like your only mechanic as an Arcane Mage. Oh, well I haven't played a Mage for a fucking long, long time. Right. I don't really go with the casters usually, but I want to go cast this time. Let's have a bit of a look. If I was like a really good YouTuber who gave a shit, I'd end the video here like, what do you think? But, oh, fuck that. Then, um, then again... doesn't give a crap what you think. I don't give a crap. No, anyway, like looking at these different specs though, it's just... Some of the stuff sounds so interesting. Like, this is what I mean before, hang on a second. Monster burp. Anyway. Oh, can't, can't internalise that. Anyway. Because I really like all three specs, there's some stuff that just looks so interesting when you look at them all. Like, some of Water Elemental, I know it's not that interesting, but just seeing it just looks like it should be. And then you get Fire, and it's just like Pyroblast, and it's like, yes. Yes. But I think I'm going to go with Arcane. Let me have a quick look at this Arcane Charge, then. An Arcane Charge, consumed by Arcane Barrage and Evocation. Alright, okay. Right, okay, 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 okay. I get the feeling that it's basically just an arcane blast thing. No, unless, unless arcane you're... charge, it stacks up to four. Um, yeah, you use, you I know. Arcane blast I'm, gets it up. I'm, so just say, I'm just saying that I get the feeling that you'd spend it, like unless it's like a situation, a special situation, you'd mainly just spend it on arcane blast for that fucking hefty DPS. Yeah. Like, I mean, much. I get the feeling that the rest of them probably more useful in... Um, AoE situations, or at least definitely like Arcane Explosion. Anyway, um, mm. yeah, I'm gonna go with fucking Arcane. You know it. Arcane Blast. Oh, so Arcane Blast replaces Frost Fireball. Yeah. Does Frost Fireball get replaced with everything? This sounds like really I think so, yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Obviously, things have changed since, like, Ward and stuff, haven't they? I mm. thought so. Frostfire no, blast. No, you you keep frostfire and frost spec, and you don't actually get frost bolt. Like if you went frost spec there. Yeah, you I get think, frost bolt later on. I don't think you get frost bolt until like your level it's thirteen. Like, or it's, yeah, it's like level twelve, I think. Yeah. Um, 
All right, okay. So Frostfire Bolt is literally just like you replace a spell, like like yeah. heroic strike for warriors, basically. Yeah. All right. Wait, spell nobody really gives a crap about. All right, so arcane charge isn't even the thing that you can trigger. No, no, it's possible. So basically, you just it's a debuff. No, oh, okay. Not a debuff. It's a buff. I thought it came down as a debuff. It is a buff, but it's because it increases the mana cost. By yeah. A shit ton. Yeah, by a hundred percent. Then again, if you've got a shitload of mana, this would be so fun. This could be so fun. Just seeing your DPS just constantly increase. The coolest thing is, is that I get the feeling that there is no limit to the DPS you could do as an arcane mage if you add the mana. If that makes sense? <laughs> if you have the mana, yeah. Yeah, if you have the mana, you could probably just get from ridiculous numbers. But anyway. Well, yeah, when you're min-max, I'm pretty goes. sure the uh, evocation, evocation mm. the, uh, the mana back spell, I'm pretty sure that becomes part of your main rotation. Let's have a look at how Arcane Blast looks, though, because it's all about the, the spell. Barrage is the pretty one. Aw, oh, it doesn't even have a fucking... Huh. Nah. No, it doesn't even have a fucking, um, like, a, a spell to it. It just appears on them. Yeah. I wanted, like... Well, at least you've got no travel time. What's the one which is, like, the really cool, um... Barrage. Is that the one where it's, like, the three, like... Yeah. Or oh, Arcane Missiles, which is, no. like, five missiles. Oh, oh, oh. Missiles is pretty bleh, ugly as shit. If it's anything like the mis arcane missiles I know from to BC era, it's nah. Nah, because you don't. Yeah, because back in the day you used to get like one and then have to upgrade it to get two missiles and yeah, et cetera. pretty grim. Yeah, you just instantly get five. Well, like basically, it was like the higher rank you got, the longer its cast time was, and that was like something you could tell in I think as well. Like you could make the cast time like because you, you know it was like a, a casting bar that went down, like a channel bar. Yeah, yeah. Oh my it's god, nice. this is awesome. Like, my first Arcane Blast does like 85, and then the second one does like 155. Yeah, it just keeps going as well. Your fourth will do like 500 and yeah. 600 something. Well, my first one did 200 there. Sweet. Nice. Oh yeah, because like, the, the Arcane Charge lasts for a fuck long of time. Like, yeah, yeah, ages. I'm just going to keep going. I've look, This is fucking insane. What, what can I get up to? 311? Um, this is... Oh, fuck me. Oh, no, I think it's maxed out. No. Yeah, it caps at four. Yeah, it's just capping out at 311. Yeah. Yeah, I think they've done that deliberately so that, like, on long boss fights where you're standing still, like, for example, the Butcher, you could literally just get it up to, like, a, like 100 charges. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It would be insane if they didn't cap it, because you would be... It's always been capped at four, doesn't it? Yeah, that's just why I'm saying. I think the reason they've done that is because if you were standing still on a boss you, with a long... with a big health pool, like Spore, for example, you could literally just, and there was no cap, you could get it up so ridiculously high. Anyway, I love that shit. But, I think Paul's had to AFK again. He's kind enough to mute so I don't have to hear his shitty conversations. But anyway, I'm gonna put. No, I was eating fucking pizza. I don't think you want to hear that shit. Dude, people want to hear it. People want the audio, <laughs> audio visual impulses, mate. The audio munching. The munching. Because it wouldn't be a complete level experience without Cancer Monster and overpriced takeaway pizza. But anyway. A Van Hart monster. <laughs> Crying inside, really. No, oh, that's terrible. That's like, you know, have you ever seen Lost? Bits of it. Yeah, that's the sort of thing that they would, like, kill each other over. Like, when they ran out of monster, it was like, well, what are we going to do now? We're going to have to scour the plane. Anyway, though, I'm going to put a cut here, so hang on. Thank you for watching.